Okay, so in this video, we're going to actually secure our motors to our frame. And you might think, hey, that's pretty easy. We don't need a video for this. But there are a couple minute details that we need to be aware of when securing our motors to our drone. So the motors, while they all look the same, we actually have two motors that are tended to spin clockwise and two motors that are intended to spin counterclockwise. And those different spins are indicated by the different uh, nuts that are used to secure the props on top of the motor. The red nuts are meant to signify counterclockwise rotation and the black nuts are meant to specify clockwise rotation. Now you might have sense mixed up which nut goes on what motor and it's very easy to determine which one goes on which motor because the incorrect nut will not tighten on the motor. So if the nut tightens on the motor, you know you have found the correct motor. So for instance, here is our red nut. We'll try and secure that on our, on our motor. And it's, it's not tightening. But if we try and tighten on the black top to this motor, it is tightening. So that means that this is a black top motor and it's meant to spin uh, clockwise. And if that's true, then this red nut should secure onto this motor, and it does. So this motor is meant to spin counterclockwise. Now, if you mess this up and you place these motors in the incorrect locations on the drone, then over time, the prop spinning is actually going to loosen these nuts. But if you place them in the correct orientation, then the spinning of the props actually tightens the nuts, and you don't have to worry about these guys falling off over hours and hours of flight. So once we have determined which motors are clockwise and which motors are counterclockwise, remember black are clockwise and red are counterclockwise, now we can start securing these motors to the drone. Now you might be asking, which arm is for clockwise rotation and which arm is for counterclockwise rotation? How do you know? Well, there's a very easy trick we can do. Let's just mock up having the plate, the top plate on our frame, and let's place our Raspberry Pi and the Navio on top of the drone. Okay, so this side is the front of the drone. This side is the back of the drone, so north and south, and this would be west and east. So that north and south direction actually makes a line. And the props of the motors are actually going to spin towards the north-south line. So here's a visual representation. So again, this is the north-south line. And to hit this north-south line, this motor will have to spin like this, counterclockwise, and this motor will have to spin like this, clockwise. Well, since we know that this motor needs to spin clockwise, we know that this motor in this location, the back right arm, needs to be a black motor, because the black motors are for clockwise rotation. And this motor is spinning counterclockwise, so this needs to be a red motor, and we already have that placed here. Now we'll do this analysis on the front two motors as well. And once you know what motors go where, now you can actually start securing the motors to the frame itself. Now the boxes that the motors came in actually came with a set of screws that tighten into the bottom of the motors. But it turns out those screws aren't long enough to go through this frame and still tighten the motors. So in the frame kit, we got a special set of screws that will are long enough to go through the frame and still tighten the motors. And that is what those guys look like. To be able to tighten these screws into the bottoms of the motors, we'll need a little Allen wrench. And that's about it. And when we're securing these motors, we need to make sure that the wires are facing down the length of the arm. The easiest way to 
fasten these motors down is going to be to flip this prop upside down and then we'll just hold the motor in place as we use gravity to tighten down the motor with these little screws. So let's flip this frame and start securing this motor. Now when you're tightening with your Allen wrench, you need to be sure not to under tighten it so that the motors aren't fast and tight enough to actually hold them in place. And you need to be careful not to over tighten it as well because if we over tighten these screws into the motor, that might actually cause the motors to uh, not work. The rule I like to use when tightening these down is to um, tighten down the screws until you start to notice a little bit more of a resistance. And then at that point, just do maybe a third of a turn or a quarter of a turn, and that should be enough tightness to hold the motor in place. All right, and then when we're all complete, we should have red motors diagonal from each other, and we should have black motors diagonal from each other.